everyone. Uh, today's demo is um, slightly different from yesterday's demo. I mean, yesterday was uh, I was using slow and uh, steady chart. Today's chart is uh, pretty fast and uh, quite jumpy chart. Um, so it's kind of uh, difficult to uh, predict where it's gonna end it up in the last 30 seconds expiry time. Uh, this is a downtrend. I placed the put. Uh, as you can see, candle is moving quite up and down. But this one is uh, pretty much uh, promising and uh, trading amount is 900. Uh, I wouldn't recommend to use this amount for your real money but for the video I would like to make it a little bit fast. So that's one of the reason um, because I, I want to make only like a 10 minutes length with a decent um, profit. Now the next one uh, it is not sure it's going to reverse or it's going to keep going, going down. So I'm just uh, checking it out. I decided it's going to go down and uh, trying to get a little leverage on the green candle before uh, going to the last uh, deadline. So this is This looks okay, uh, but as it is a little jumpy, so I have to be really careful. The next one, it's a similar situation. It could reverse or it could keep going down. Uh, now it's around the Bollinger Band. It's a very tricky place. It can bounce back or it can penetrate up, but. It is still a uh, quite strong down trend, but I have to see, that's why I backed up 3 minutes to see if there's any drastic change against the down trend. Um, the candlestick can go up and down. Um, pretty much in every 30 seconds or within the 30 seconds but I see it as a, it's a still in a downtrend because of a, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 8 candles, previous candle green has a very strong wick on the top and the next red also have a very strong long wick on the top so the current movement is still governed under those two uh, candles. So it's generally it's going down. However, it's going to jump up or down. You never know. That's why I gave uh, three minutes time. Some po at some point, green may going to reverse quite a lot as um, either resistance or reversal. Uh, if you get caught up in that the green candle going up after placing the position going down, it's a little risky. And also I'm placing an amount a little smaller, now it's a $340. Uh, also to leave the even $2,000 does balance either I win or lose. Uh, I already have some decent profit after two minutes of trading. So this one went up but uh, nicely came back. Um, going down. So this one looked like I won.
And as you can see, that's the several candles. It's very tricky to decide which way or where it's gonna end up. Uh, this looks like uh, still keeps going down. The three candles, previous candle, green candle has a very long wick on top of it. So that kind of indicates it's a reversal. And I'm still maintaining the small amount because um, I don't want to um, lose something I already uh, profited. Um, but this amount is still leaving me in the profited range of the balance. Uh, this one I'm not sure, this green candle may go up. Or it just stay there. So I, I'm going for the, the next option because this one I lost. And uh, but the trend is still down. Um, I was a little late place the position. Um, I should have uh, placed the position when this uh, red candle. Start, started to grow, um, but I was just uh, not paying attention. And uh, here's I nested two, uh, just with the hope to recover the previous loss at the 1444. Um, this red candle is hope it settles here okay very good so the next one this this is a quite obvious reversal to me uh, it's exceeded the Bollinger Band the bottom Bollinger Band and uh, so I changed the Trading amount to 344, that leaves 2500 as a current balance, even if I lose on this. So, in this kind of chart, uh, I have to go a little slow, little by little, gaining some decent profit at a time. This one finally decided to go down, so I lost. But anyway, it's okay. The balance is now 2,500. Um, now I'm trying to recover the last loss uh, trading amount. I have increased to 500. So if I win this one. I'm going to recover this. I just still place the put because there hasn't been any sign of real reversal by the green yet. So probably red's gonna grow one more time. Here we go. After this, it's going to be a reversal. Okay, so I recovered the last loss of 344 by winning 410. And uh, this is reversed. And again, I'm changing the uh, trading amount to 410 so that uh, even I lose, uh, I maintain the 2,500 balance. If I win, it's going to be over 3,000. I'm just still checking because uh, the previous green could be still a resistance. Maybe it's going to go down again. I'm just checking, waiting. I decided 
it still hasn't reversed. Even this green candle, the previous one, looks like a reversed, but uh, somehow I think it's going down. I have nested uh, two of the 410. See, it came back. Uh, also, it's around the Bollinger Band, the middle Bollinger Band. This is a place it can go either way for, for a while, more like a seesaw. Um, so anyway, I think it is working. Okay, I think uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have played uh, 8 trays already for the last 10 minutes. So probably maximum 10 trays is enough playing on this kind of chart. Um, I wouldn't recommend to continue playing for 20-30 minutes or hour. Uh, I think you're gonna end up losing. But right now I'm still winning. Um, so right now is the ninth trade. Um, I think I'm gonna just play 10 trade and quit if it's my real money uh, and cash them out. Um, so this will be the tenth trade, and uh, last one for this session. I already lost uh, two among. Um, if I'm gonna <coughs> play one more trade among ten, so it's like. Uh, Five wins and the one loss average. That's that's the minimum you always have to maintain. Five wins and uh, one loss. Otherwise, you're gonna start losing. Um, so this is a last trade, and um, okay, I won. So this is it. I don't play any longer. You, you have decent profit. 